Hey everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. Today we're in the space plane hangar at Vandenberg trying to test out some of our new unlocked space plane parts like this Mark 1 cockpit. They've made hideous. Alright, well, we're going to speed this up in post, obviously. Um, this cockpit is rated as X-15 class, as are some of these fuselage components, but I don't really know if I like them very much. So we're going to total around and kind of see some of our new parts, including the uh, XLR-99 engine, which I've decided I will play with later. Uh, right now I'm kind of wanting to experiment with uh, some air-breathing engines, namely this uh, new ramjet that we have unlocked. But first I kind of want to get the basic imprint of the uh, airplane figured out including closing up some of these gaps here at the nose and trying to present a somewhat aerodynamic figure so then we'll move on to uh, engine fuselages or engine nacelles right. so the CR2 ramjet is interesting uh, it provides no thrust below 0.35 Mach so we're gonna need something to get it up to speed but it's available thrust looks pretty impressive so we're just gonna get it uh, placed a little better, but I'm not happy with these wings, so I'm going to spend a little time dorking around with wing sections, trying to figure something out that might work. Nothing's really doing it, so we're going back to almost right where we were, just fidgeting around, moving some things about. Um, so, again, trying to get the wing surfaces and the center of mass and center of lift figured out is always a struggle. Well. That's a profile I'm pretty happy with. So let's get some tail sections, tilt them in, kind of SR-71-ish. Uh, these engines are not the SR-71 engines by any stretch. Uh, those are much, much better engines. These, best I can figure, are a precursor to the J-58 in that uh, they don't provide any thrust while not moving. So uh, we've taken a look at FAR. FAR is not happy, so we're going to add some rear stabilizing fins to this. Double check again. FAR is not exactly happy, but uh, slightly more happy. We'll give it a name that I've forgotten. And now we have to get it moving. So we're going to do that with some SRBs. Oh, yes. All right, and that should be enough to get us up to speed. We'll take it out to the runway now back in real time. So, we'll just get our staging set up, light these SRBs, and let it push itself down the runway. Now, we just need to get up just enough speed to get these engines to light on their own. Uh, hopefully, any second now. Any second now. No thrust. No thrust. <laughs> Alright. Okay. At this point, I'm starting to be a little worried that they might not give us enough speed to get up. They are almost out of fuel, and we're... We're moving, and there they go. These two engines light, they give us enough oomph to get off the runway. And just as the SRBs are about to burn out, we'll ditch them. And then the act of pulling up causes our engines to cut out. We are now looking at a full-fledged stall. Yeah. No thrust. And there it is. Full-out stall. Val throws down the gear in an attempt to try to save it. Oh. A quick bounce on the ground, and the whole aircraft just tears itself apart. But, Val, the resilient soldier that she is, the cockpit makes it through. Any landing you can walk away from, right Val? Well, we flew several hundred feet. Not bad. Now who's going to clean this up? Not you, huh? Well... Anyway, several hours later, Val is out test flying this new prototype reconnaissance plane. It is new jet engines, uh, of which I cannot remember. And we're just kind of out tooling around when we see this nifty crater. That's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know where exactly on the map I am, but I'm wondering if that's that uh, meteor impact crater in Arizona that I can't remember the name of. So we're going to get in there and take a little bit of a closer look. Hmm. Val's throttling has throttled back those engines quite a bit. And we're just going to come in nice and low. I guess we can kill the thrust. We are moving really, really fast. This thing has a cruising speed of around Mach 2.5. So it's... <laughs> 
reasonably quick. And we've been out flying for maybe 10 minutes or so at this point. Uh, 15, maybe. And not even a realistic dent in our fuel. But I want to get a nice, good look inside this crater. That is really cool. Oh, look, there's even a little bit of water down there at the bottom. And some green. That's awesome. I have so much respect for the people who have uh, modeled all the planets here in the uh, Realism Overall mod. They've done just an amazing job. I mean, look at this. That's... It's just pretty is what it is. Well... <laughs> we are now actually below ground level, not sea level. Sea level, I imagine, is where our little bit of ocean is. Bowels kick those engines into full thrust, which is something I imagine the tower is yelling at her not to do. But seeing as how she's below ground, kind of technically, I'm pretty sure she's out of radio range. They're now in full burner. She is smashing through the sound barrier at just meters off the deck. Oh, yeah. Damn, Damn it, Val. Uh-oh. Um. Okay. What? Crap. Val, we're not... No. Alright, bail out. Bail out. Jump! Oh, she bounces. Oh, and she just looks like she's having a party with that <laughs> above the speed of sound bailout in a tumbling debris. Yes. You've created yet another mess, Val. <laughs> yes. Now who's gonna have to come and get you? You can't walk home like last time. <sighs> Way to go, Val. Where the hell are we? Well... We'll pick this up next time. Thanks for hanging out, guys. I will see you tomorrow. See ya.